Doug Fur. Yeah, you know, I was listening to uh, Bonsai Wire, uh, and if you haven't listened to it, uh, go find it on your podcast and start from the start and just listen to it. It's, uh, I think it started with uh, Michael Hagedorn, uh, Jonas Dupuy, and Eric from um, Bonsafi. Bonsafi? Something like that. Um, and he's got a YouTube channel, also all really good. Uh, but the two episodes ago was a guy from South Africa and he was talking about um, just the importance of only working with nice trees and not wasting your time on not so good trees. Uh, here I am with a tree that could only ever be so good. You know, it does have it does have some interesting kind of movement, but it is fairly straight. Uh, it's a Doug fir, like I said. Um, you know, it's got these beautiful, beautiful little flowers, but I am gonna dig down in there and I maybe I can try to keep them. I mean, they're only alive for another day or so, but it is gives it this nice feel and it it draws the tree up. Um, so <laughs> maybe. Maybe I can keep those, but I really want to see what's what's under here. There's a, a knob of an old trunk there, so I don't know entirely what to do there, but because that'll look like some reverse taper, but I'm kind of curious to see what kind of roots are there. Um, so I'll maybe try to keep these beautiful little flowers, but again, they're only going to last a day. And then it's got this, um, oh, what is it? I forget what the rust is. It's a, uh, it's a something on Doug first. It's like a fungus or uh, that... Uh, transfers in the spring over to all the plants and so my trees got hit really hard this year and I have some big Doug firs uh, in the yard and they um, they have it too so uh, it's just going to be one of those things I have to fight with health and vigor and again this is not a great time of year I mean you can see the previous year it didn't get it at all I was able to fight it and this year it has it so um, you know I might be able to spray with a copper spray of some sort at the right time of year I'm doing that with my spruce to get rid of one of its funguses but for this tree um you know you, you you could look at some different angles uh but all of a sudden you get some really straight sections and so you know it's pretty hard to go anywhere here because of the base so you can turn it this way and so you know i've kind of come into here and you you do get some subtle subtle movements the eye can pick that up especially from far away so it's here maybe here it's here you get a little movement up in there um something like that uh and then ideally i think i would probably uh would i try to get the top here and get rid of that maybe but i actually i'm thinking this long slender with these two two you know drop branches that are very similar and, and you can see i've wired it before um this is a tree two years ago i want to say i think i've had it for three years uh, it's in the same container. Two years ago, though, I really, um, it was like the tree I wanted to style in the spring for some reason. It was like the first tree I was thinking of. Uh, so, I, um, and just like in that show, you know, you got to prioritize. Otherwise, you're going to spend 10 years working on some mediocre trees that become maybe decent. Most likely, like this is only mediocre at best. Um, but even to get good trees and then to go for epic the best highest quality trees and, and getting rid of 10 you know good trees for an epic tree and so I've got way too many trees I have to pare right down and I'm watering forever and weeding and it is preventing me from be working on some of the nicer ones and bigger ones um, but I'm also just intimidated by my nicer ones so I will style this up I mean not much I don't can't say much I'm just gonna bring all the branches down this this one you can see is really quite vigorous um, and it obviously I hadn't wired it uh, the first time and it was probably one of these and then it just took off and so it'll come down um, Maybe I can use it to break up some of this and I really only have like I have no branches off of this left side I could I can probably sneak that around uh, I don't really want to create a little hole in there. So Who knows that might go back there. This could go here um, And I'm I guess I am gonna really try to drop these um, you know, I could, you know, use these guys will have to keep a lot, oops, sorry, these guys will have to keep off to this side, and this, and maybe, maybe I can sneak this over, yeah, you see, like, I don't want to create that, um, I, I, 
uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I could really try to crank that. I probably won't. And then I'll just make some sort of apex up here. I might, you can see there's quite a bit of scarring, but not too, too bad. Um, that's going to be hidden anyways. But I could just get rid of that knob because I am getting a bit of a knob there with those two. I'll have to figure out an apex. I don't, again, and it's, it's midsummer, middle of July, the worst time to be trimming. I really just realized that, like, I styled a juniper in the middle of summer, and it perished. Um, it's a small one, luckily, but I'm really realizing I just don't want to touch the trees in the summer. Wait till the fall, wait till the heat's passed, let them use this growth to put in roots and strength. And, um, and basically survive the summer because it just gets so hot here now um, having to put stuff kind of in the shade uh, and so I, I just don't want to be killing trees and I don't want to cut the vigor out of them either so I'll uh, style it up and show you what I what I come up with okay that's a little better that's looking better um, so this one I just put in more so there's another directionality it doesn't just look like an S coming down um, you can see all these little, little tweaks that you can make. I mean, this is the, this is the, what do you call that? This is where you really make the bonsai from mediocre to great. Well, to great. Uh, you take it to that next level. Is just these little refinements. I, I, you know, I used to just design and then, okay, it looks good. Can it sit in? And now I do this secondary process where I step back, take a break, come back look for flaws, look for strange things, right? Look for things like this, where this, this branch is just coming down a bit much. Um, just these subtle little tweaks uh, that really make the entire tree just so much more, um, uh, just more refined and, and the path, like it just, it makes everything, it, it fills out all of those strange, strange uh, design flaws. Like see, like those two are fairly similar pads. I bet I can bring this up just a bit. Uh, something like that uh, and it just creates another layer in there of pads right um, so but anyways kept these little flowers in um, they you know knocked a few off um, you know did some damage but I thought wow that's 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 really nice it's just a nice sort of aesthetic and it, it you know I wish it was like a shrub down here but whatever those beautiful little flowers um, some some native uh, I need a flower. Uh, and then this container, this I didn't talk about last, and this is one of my old containers where I used to do them uh, outside of, of plastic. And clearly this one got cemented in. Um, so there's like sections of plastic and I just had to rip and break it out. I used to kind of mold, the, one form was to, you know, use cement the outside of a, like a Tupperware. Um, and this one, I mean, it's starting to crack all the way along the bottom. That's probably contained there. Um, it's really thick uh, and just crude, right? Like it's just got no top and anything. Anyways, this does need a new a new container. Uh, and I chose this angle mostly because you get, you get good movement here and then there, and then you get a teeny shift there and a teeny shift there. And so it, it cuts out some of those straight, straight sections. It's hard to see from far away, uh, but the eye picks it up. Um, you know, here I was probably trying to kind of cover that just a bit. I can do it a bit more. There we are. So it breaks up, breaks up that really defined line. Um, yeah. And this, I mean, like I said, this thing just blares. It's so huge, so at the top, but it matches this. And it's kind of one of those features that you're just like, hmm, do I keep that? It kind of kind of makes it look like there's something more to it. Um, and I think if I got that curve right, um, it would it would have this really interesting feel to it. Other than that, the top, it's kind of, I took the, there was a section a bigger one that kind of came off and I couldn't I wasn't I had already tried to kind of rip or like bend it around the previous time 
Uh, so it was a huge sort of section, but it was thick. I'd never be able to get enough wire to bend it. So I chopped that and used these two. Uh, this one's coming around this way, and this one's coming around this way. So, you know, normally you'd want them all kind of coming the same way, but this was just a way to kind of fill it out. And I'm actually really happy with it right now. I do think I'm going to have to pinch super hard uh, in the spring to, otherwise it's just going to grow out, right? Like this is, this is this year's growth. So if you can imagine that everywhere, it's crazily grown out. So got to be on point with my pitch, pinching next year. It's probably my weakest, weakest, uh, weakest technique at this point. see what it looks like from other sections kind of see it from the back side just to give you a different sense of what it looks like but yeah and and you know I got in there and I'll just wire up the main primary branch and then you start wiring and you want to get all the secondaries and make it look really nice so